Forgive me, Father, I need to confess. Okay, honesty time, people, and I mean true honesty, because right now the little voice in the back of my instructor brain is seriously telling me to stop writing this script. During your instructor course, you're taught to teach a certain way and talk a certain way. That's good for both you and your student. But hey, actually, I don't teach anymore. So hi, I'm Mark, and here are five confessions of a dive instructor. Number one, we cry a little inside when we see some people dive. I have seen far too many people bump and break coral because of poor buoyancy or they just don't know where their limbs are going. Some people are naturals and are just aware of their surroundings, but others really just don't get it. Any diver above rescue diver should really start noticing this too, as your bubble of awareness should include other divers and future problems. This unfortunate foresight means that you can see things that are about to happen even though you can't prevent it. It's a heavy cross to bear. You can see like this trail of bubbles coming out of someone's regulators and you're like, that o-ring's gonna pop. <laughs> Number two, we haven't actually used that mask or BCD before. Okay, when I was teaching, the best selling mask was the mask that I wore. Because as a student, you'll look at the kit that your instructor is wearing and figure that, hey, that's probably a good, if not the best mask out there, so I should probably buy one or at least one similar. Similar for other kits, have I dived with this BCD or regulator? Sure, but not actually in the water. We can infer from experience what a BCD or regulator will be like in the water, but sorry, we haven't actually used that one during a dive. Equipment manufacturers aren't too hot on giving out just free kit just to test it out, and you probably wouldn't be too happy buying a piece of kit that's been used a bunch of times for staff just to give it a try. My heart is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr I trusted you! Yeah. Basically another one is, is that in equipment manufacturers will give instructor incentive discounts. So if you're an instructor and you buy our wetsuit, one, it will be cheaper, and two, all your students will see that you're wearing this wetsuit and they'll then buy that wetsuit. So in the long run, it actually sells more wetsuits. Well, I've recorded that, it's going in the video. Number three, nice instructors suck. There is a reason why some instructors come across as a bit mean or strict, and that's because actually they're a good instructor. You need to be tested and put through your paces to emerge as a good diver the other side. By just scraping through and doing the bare minimum, sure, we can qualify you as a diver, but you won't be, you know, a, a real diver. If you feel like your scuba course is going really easily or smoothly, you're either a natural and were born to do this, or your instructor doesn't really care that much and really just wants to sign you off to add to their tally. The third option is that your instructor is just the unicorn of instructors. They're tough, they put you through your paces, but they make it feel sort of easy and smooth. So yeah, go with them. That's me. Well, you do have something sticking out your head. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt is a prime example of this. When she came in for a scuba review, she never knew what a controlled emergency swimming ascent was. She had never been taught it during her course. Her instructor just wanted to get her through and just take her money. Number four, we hate influencers who don't actually know what they're talking about. The best post that made me laugh was a dive computer comparison chart that gave two different computers vastly different ratings on user friendliness, even though on the inside Side, they're, they're actually the same computer. One brand had just bought the other brand and just rebadged it. So why the vastly different review? Because I don't know what the heck they're talking about. <laughs> It doesn't matter how many followers or likes you have on your Insta page, if you don't know what you're doing, then you can be promoting poor behavior in the water. Touching stuff and posing in the water will encourage others to do so and can lead them to damaging themselves and others. Just look at the number of people taking selfies whilst hanging off a whale shark. Number five, we have a separate Facebook profile for, you know, some students. So, when you're on a liverboard, especially on your very first trip, you're all excited and enthusiastic about everything, so towards the end of the trip, out comes the smartphone and the Facebook app gets dusted off. Do you remember when Facebook was a thing? Yes, that's showing my age, isn't it? Yep, you're well on. Oh. So, you look up everybody on the trip with you uh, and you send them all friend requests, don't you? Well, when you search for your instructor's name, it probably will come up, but it won't actually be their main account, to be honest. Um, why, why are you laughing at me? Why are you looking at me? Ah, 
It may be for some instructors, uh, but they're probably just the boring ones that need the high friend counts or don't mind mixing your real friends uh, with people that you met once on a liverboard for a week two years ago. Yeah, the best way is to um, sort of change your middle name or, um, or just, yeah, just change your surname because then when people search for you, you just don't even come up. Your friends and family know about it, but yeah, no one else will. Okay, I know a little more inside of your life, Mark. As long as there's that red herring, it's got a picture of you. <laughs> and it's got the name, they're like, oh yeah. And there we have it. Are there any other honest instructors out there that have any confessions to add to the list? You know about scuba diving, just keep it kosher, huh? Um, let's, let's see where this takes us. Uh, just, you know, tread carefully when you go through the comments section below and try to keep it PC, people. This, this isn't the dark web. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen. Thank <laughs> you.